Hey everybody, it's final update. This is a quick one, uh, in between my last one. Two reasons for that. First reason being that I really want to just keep making a lot of videos because it still feels like a performance for me, you know, like talking in front of the camera and I want it to be, I, I just need to get better at it. This is just me uh, doing a, you know, my internal monologue out loud right now. And so this, in fact, is, is helping a little bit. But I want it to be less of a performance and more of a conversation with the people out there. And so I just, I'm going to keep doing it until I get used to it. Because just talking to this camera is, is really awkward. <laughs> and anyway, so the more videos I make, the better I'll get. It's just kind of the way I work. I guess that's how most people work. But today is record store day, which I was glad to not participate in. I did, in a way. I'll get that to that later, but I was glad to not participate in it because I've you know, been working in record stores for the last five years, four years, four and a half, five years, something like that, and I've been a part of every single record store day. It includes Black Fridays and actual record store day. So honestly, like... Glad to not have to deal with that or be interested in really any of the things on the official release list that I saw. There's probably some stuff some smaller labels put out exclusively that I bet is dope. But, you know, if you got something you were looking for and you're excited about, more power to you. I'm glad to just not be around it. But there is a... Uh, it's, it's a flea market. It's a big old flea market in an old cotton mill. It's about 10 minutes away from my folks' house, and uh, I went there with the intention of buying records to uh, flip for cash, because I'm, you know, I'm broke, and, you know, that's just how it's going these days. So I got a good amount of records to, to flip, but of course, naturally, I found some for myself, but the beauty of this is all these were a quarter. Every single record is a quarter. They had a special sale for this weekend where everything was a quarter, but... Uh, the lady who owns and runs the place is, uh, she always gives me them for a quarter because I always come in and buy, you know, just big old stacks. Uh, and so she gives it to me for a quarter piece. Why wouldn't I? It was a lot of work. It was, it was like 50 degrees in there. I had gloves on for warmth and, you know, because it's dirty as hell. And, you know, I'm sore from it. I dug from 10:30 until 1:30, and my back hurts a lot. There's basically, I think there's close to 10,000 records there, and the beast is this giant divider wall in the middle of this booth that spans, I don't know, 30 feet or something like that, and it's four shelves, and each shelf goes all the way across, and you know. It was a lot. None of them are organized. They're turned all different directions, frontwards, backwards, and it, there's a, it's an, also an animal rescue clinic, so there's like a faint smell of cat pee a little bit and dog pee, but so it was work. This was, this was like legit, if nothing else, and it, there's like Christmas music blasting in my ear, which was awful. That, was, that part was truly awful. Um, Anyway, so I busted my ass for some records to sell for cash today, so I'm treating myself to some of the better finds, and some of the stuff I, I don't really know about, but I'm going to show, basically, this is all I found for a quarter that I'm keeping for myself. There's about, um, I got uh, 42 records total, and I think I've got like 15 here, so the rest are getting, getting hot. And these, this is Icicle Works. I don't know much about these guys, but it was on Beggar's Banquet in 84. Figured I couldn't go wrong. It's in okay shape. All these need a little bit of a cleaning. This actually looks really nice. And this is their first album, I believe, with it. It's a different cover than I think the CD issue. But, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play this. I've, I've read some good things online. Graham Parker, Squeezing Out Sparks. I watched a video, um, I'm not sure whose video I watched, uh, but they were, they had Graham Parker's first album, and my stepdad's a big fan of Graham Parker, so I decided to give him a chance at a quarter, <laughs> and I hear this one's pretty good, uh, my stepdad says it's in his top five, so, 
pretty stoked on that. Airs to 79. I, I guess a promo or at least a, a regular copy made for promo. Um, clean. Very clean. This one I bought purely based on the recommendation of Derek Vaughn in his tens, his first tens video. I've been going back and watching everybody's old videos. And yeah, so I don't know much about this, but I'm excited on it. Um, thanks for the thanks for looking out, Derek. I'm I've been looking out for basically all the records from all y'all's videos that um, you guys called your tens. It's a really nice like starting point to really get an idea where you guys are coming from. And if I've liked all the other videos, chances are I'll like the tens. So anybody out there who's trying to first peruse the VC, check out the perfect tens. Way to go, uh, Memphis Final Gym and the Misses for coming up with that contest because it's choice. A lot of good music on there. Don't know much about this. Pentacle Reflection. I'm thinking folk rock. I haven't looked this up yet. Um, it needs a cleaning, and it's a little busted down here. But, I mean, the photography is cool. It's very of a certain era. I'm sure somebody out there knows about it. If you do, holler. Uh, this one I'm not keeping. I saw it sell for like five, six bucks. Um, so I'm going to listen to it because I like war. And it's apparently like a Star Wars tribute. I'm going to listen to it. That's why it's set aside. But then I'm going to sell it. Ready, Paul Mary. This is uh, Lukumi Makumba Voodoo. It's a promo copy. Very clean. This guy. I'm not familiar with his stuff. Looked him up for the first time today. And... This album actually kind of gets like a sort of middle of the road review. It says it's all right, but then I looked up it on uh, looked up on eBay, and these promo copies were selling for a lot, which means that I'm going to give it another chance because somebody out there thinks it's it's worth something. Several people do, so I'm going to listen to this. It looks good. Clannad two on on uh, the return of the Shinachi records. This is all in Gaelic. And you know, this is pretty cool. Uh, this is 79 again, clean. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to this because Silly Sisters kicked ass. I bet this does. Seems like it's it's coming from the same place as, as that record. So very cool. Uh, this is inspired by um. I forget your username right now. She Broods, username, I think. She picked up the Belafonte records. I had Calypso and I was feeling these two that she got. They looked they looked pretty pretty beautiful. And yeah, there's not not much to be said about this. Uh, just enjoyable, uh, easy listening world music. I'm excited about that one. I think Catherine will be stoked on it too. This is Cocktoo Twins. It's a best of of their early stuff. I think kind of remixed. It's on 4AD Relativity Records released. Uh, I don't know when. Early 80s. Here's the problem with this one though. And I want to source out some help here. It was stuck to the inside. It's a relatively clean copy. I'd say I'd say VG uh, plus. Um, probably in the middle or lower side of VG plus. But if you can see here... It's got, whoa, bright light. It's got pieces of paper stuck to it, glued to it, just on the edges. And there's just one part here where it goes into the first song. And it looks like something that could be fixed, I feel like. So if anybody has any suggestions for, like, ungluing that, it might just need some dish soap, I feel like. But anyway, so that's that one. Uh, that one's pretty cool. I've never listened to this band before. Always heard good things. Very nice copy. Thomas Dolby, Golden Age of Wireless. This is a... I don't think it originally came with She Blinded Me With Science. But this one does. That is awesome. My boy Andy Partridge. Like, I never see him guest on stuff. I mean, I know he just plays the harmonica, but I'm into it. XDC's like my favorite band of all time, so... Anyway, I mostly, I don't know this guy's material, I mostly know him from producing a top 10 album, Prefab Sprouts, Steve McQueen, uh, wonderful job on that, so I'm, I'm very excited about this. 
This one, this one made my fucking day. This is in the midst, uh, two hours in, uh, just digging, shoving giant stacks aside so you can flip through part of it, just grinding. But fortunately, you know, you have to hit a record every so often to keep that momentum going. And I hadn't hit in a while, and I get this. And I know you guys aren't going to know what this is, but this is Catherine, my girlfriend's grandfather. And just, this is awesome to find. She's going to get, she's going to get a kick out of this. We have a copy of this record. We have like three of his records. Um, he has several. He was a traveling evangelist slash singer for a while. And uh, he just went to Nashville and cut these, cut a whole bunch of records. So cool. And look at this cool dude. I missed him uh, this Thanksgiving. I, I went to spend time with my my family. He he would have been there, but uh, at least I you know I was there with him in in spirit. This I, I mean I'm gonna sell Alicia Bridges' self titled debut, but I'm going to listen to uh, I love the nightlife disco round like four times because this is like a perfect looking copy, and I love that song. I do a do a really melancholy cover of this song um, at some of my dinner shows. So I'm gonna listen to the listen to that like four or five times and then peace out. See you later, Alicia Bridges. You know it's sad, but I've never ever seen a good copy of any Nancy Sinatra or Lee, Lee Hazelwood. I see Nancy Sinatra's boots and Country My Way all the time, and they're destroyed. And this one, I crapped my pants when I saw it, because <laughs> I'm so excited about this, but it's it's relatively destroyed. I just, I'm going to clean it, because it, they look, the marks look superficial. I don't think you're going to be able to see anything with my shitty webcam. This one looks somewhat salvageable. But guys, if any of you see this out, this particular album, or Boots, or Country My Way for cheap, and it's in decent condition, please, like, holler at your boy. Let me know, because I've been looking for this stuff for a while. This belonged to Griff. Totally stoked on Roger Miller. I actually found a bunch of Roger Miller. This one is, in particular, pretty cool, uh, because this is the sequel to the first mono greatest hits that I have on Smash. And this is, I mean, this is almost near mint. And there's a double of this that I'm selling, and then a double of the first one, Dang Me, that I'm going to, it's an upgrade of my copy, and I'm going to sell my copy, in case you were interested in that. Really, I mean, I'm just, this is the first time I'm talking about these records, so <laughs> you're going to get that. This, I think, is a gem of the, of the whole day. Uh, this is a promo copy of L.A. Getaway. Featuring um, Joel Scott Hill, also uh, Chris Etheridge, and bass and keys and stuff, Joni Barbata, I think that's how you say it, on drums, and various other things. Atco Records, this is 1971. Um, I haven't listened to this yet. I'm very excited to. I've read a lot about it. It sells for really good money online and is is um it's very sought after it appears this is um apparently just Joel Scott Hill is a great singer there's some great guest performances on here by um some people whose whose names are escaping me right now but need some cleaning they all do um but this one not a scratch on it just needs cleaning Anyway, it just rave reviews online, and I mean, you know, I this is a total blind buy. I just like, I mean, that's what I, I always do. You know, you get an eye for this stuff after you do it for a long time, and I think this is the winner. This is worth this is worth at least twenty five cents, right? And uh, lastly, is uh, just to top it off. This is a promo copy. Uh, this is one of my favorite albums. And, you know, Brat singing synthy energetic pop. I love it. And uh, this is an upgrade copy for me. 
And I have a friend who every time she comes over, she's like, put on Squiddy Quiddy. So I do. And now she's going to get my old copy of the record. That sounds fine. This is just a, uh, this is the first pressing. So, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, record store day for Nolan. Spent a total of $10. Uh, I got a 50 cent discount <laughs> off 42 records. And, you know, I'm happy. You know, that's $10. I couldn't have bought anything that came out on Record Store Day for $10. And hopefully the remainder of the stuff will actually uh, be a double return on that $10 investment. I hope I can at least get $20 from the rest. I think I can. A lot of good um, jazz and funk uh, out there. Anyway, y'all take it easy. <laughs>